Today we're going to explain how Extreme I.O. works with Exchange databases. We'll start with drawing the host volume, the LUN. Inside this, we'll place your Exchange database. Inside that, we'll place the data. And inside that, we'll talk about some of the compression and deduplication technologies inside the Extreme I.O. device. The paint here coming in different colors of gray, show you the amount of provisioning, the actual storage, that the Extreme I.O. device keeps you from actually using. That's right, it's going to deprovision this space as you write your Exchange databases to it. Now don't be alarmed, what you end up with is just the unique data that's inside the databases that's committed to the Extreme I.O. device. Let's get started. Like we said, the LUN is created on the Extreme I.O. device and is presented to your database server. Then, you either create an empty file or you can copy an existing database file to the Extreme device. What gets copied on is the actual data, not the zeros within the database. So, that's right, None of the zeros that are inside the databases get copied onto the device. We copy any non-duplicate data. The last thing that happens is we remove any repeating characters. Just like you would typically see in a compression program, it would remove any repeating sevens or eights or zeros. No, not zeros. Zeros never get written to the device. And what you're left with is just the unique data. And that's how Extreme I.O. creates an incredibly efficient storage platform for all databases, but especially for Exchange. Let's take a look inside the Exchange database and see how this actually works in your environment. Inside the host volume, you create your database. What the host is seeing is a file allocation table, or the global partition table, that's actually filled out with all of the block locations, the Extreme I.O. maps out this entire GPT, or FAT, in its own memory and keeps that file allocation table, or the global partition table, available in memory for high speed access to every block that's referenced on the database. So any string of zeros that's 8K in length does not ever get written to the flash drives on the Extreme I.O. device. Instead, the block is returned to the host claiming that it's filled with zeros. Only real data ever gets written to the flash drives. So within your database, you have mailboxes. Mailboxes are loaded with zeros. Exchange strives to keep about 20% of the database filled with zeros at any one point in time. Now remember, Exchange pages are 32K in size. For the Extreme device, that means it takes four blocks in order to store one page of data. What this means is that any partially filled Exchange page could also benefit from this deprovisioning. And remember, when anything is deleted from Exchange, those pages are blanked or zeroed. So those pages become deprovisioned as well. Attachments stored in an exchange system are compressed before they're placed into the individual user's mailboxes. Keep in mind that an email that's been routed to dozens of people is stored dozens of times inside the exchange database. Because those attachments and those messages are compressed before they're placed into each user's mailbox, Extreme I.O. has the unique ability to deduplicate those items before they land in the user's mailboxes. Of course, each mailbox thinks that they've stored each individual message and attachment in every particular user's mailbox, but the Extreme I.O. device stores the messages once. We've learned that through thin provisioning techniques, we can save as much as 40% of the necessary capacity to store our Exchange databases. By not writing zeros, we've learned that we can save between 20 and 40%. In addition, we've also learned that because we don't duplicate data elements, we can save another 20%. We also learned that because we can remove repeating characters and strings of characters, we can remove another 20% of our storage requirements. 
All in all, this tallies up to about 2.8 to 1 storage efficiency. So let's summarize. Our volume savings is 40% because we can zero out pages. That saves us another 30% because we can deduplicate items in the exchange mailboxes. We can save another 30% and then we can compress things that aren't already duplicated by another 20%. This gives us a single copy efficiency of 2.8 to 1. And remember, if we duplicate the database, those copies come for free. So when you think of Exchange, you should think of Extreme I.O. It's an amazing TCO.